Hello my stars and galaxies, welcome back to my channel, The Universe Tarot. Today we're doing a reading for Aries. Aries is all about you, it's all about the Aries today. Now before we get started, make sure you guys like, comment, share, 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 subscribe, 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 and hit that post notification bell so you don't miss an upload when I upload, alright? And please note that the Tarot Instagram page is in the description box below, along with my cash app so you know exactly where to go whenever you're ready for your personal reading, right? Now without further ado, let's get started. Hope you guys are having a good morning, noon, and night. I hope all is well, I know I am. But, um, well, <laughs> I know I'm having a good, well day. But if all is not well, I do apologize. Hopefully your situation will get better. You know what I'm saying? You gotta get better. Can't stay shitty forever, right? Okay, gotta get better. Mm-mm-mm. Alrighty. Ah, my cards! We're gonna try that again. So, yeah, we're gonna do a quick Aries reading. Now, with that being said, we're gonna... <sighs> And now, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and do a quick Aries reading and draw 10 cards, okay? Draw 10 cards. Remember, y'all, I'm doing a live Saturday at 4 o'clock Eastern time, a.k.a. Georgia time, right? So, yeah, tune in for that. Do the math if you're on a different time zone, okay? Or just watch it later whenever you get the chance, you know? If you don't get to watch the live, live, then whatever, that's okay, you know? At least you have something to watch for later, okay? You know, at least you have the ability to fast forward or whatever the case is. So that's okay. All right. But I'm going to do a live. I'm going to address these haters. I'm going to answer people's questions. You can even ask questions during the live, you know, but it's just a series of questions I'm going to get out the way. So, you know, if, you know, um, there's people who want to know personal things about me. And then there's people who want to ask more slightly disrespectful, more um, like questions more on the disrespectful side. But I'm going to answer each and every one. You know why? Because I'm going to put some folk in a place. If you want to tell me how to run my channel. But anyway. Again, that's for the live on Saturday at 4 o'clock. Okay? Be there. So, Aries. Our first card says the five of swords in the reverse. Okay? I'm seeing here that someone is trying to make amends to you. Okay? Or you're, or you're trying to make amends to them. Okay? Because over past resentment. Okay? So, someone's trying to make an um, amends to someone. All right, you know, somebody's trying to, to make things right. You know, maybe they hurt you or you hurt them. Okay, but either way, they, like, either they, you or they want to try to make things right. Okay, rather than try to, this rather than um, live on past resentment. The four of pentacles in the reverse. Okay, so I'm seeing greed has come up. Greed and overspending. So someone was spending excessive money, wasn't saving. Okay, so no, somebody wasn't being careful with the money. Right, and ended up overspending, and maybe that's maybe they spent a little bit of your money, or you spent a little bit of theirs. Either way, this was a very, very bad idea. Somebody was really pissed. Okay, they were really pissed with this, and they were very upset. Okay, so somebody here is very upset because over lost money. Okay, or overspending. Okay, and somebody here is trying to save while the other person is trying to spend all the money. Okay, the lovers. Okay. All right, so it's starting to get a little clear. The story's starting to get a little bit clear. So the two of you are partners, okay? The two of you are partners, right? And now, <clears throat> excuse me about that, y'all. But yeah, the two of you are partners. One person spending, the other one is trying to save and hold on to the money. And now this has built up, um, what do you call it? Uh, conflict, right? And arguments because the two of you are on different um, ideals or different levels of how to use the money. Okay. The seven of pentacles. Okay. All righty. So I'm seeing here that Aries, someone wants to make an investment. Okay. So this could be either you or your partner. They want to make an investment or you want to make an investment. Right. And it's getting very difficult because either you or your partner are spending the money and being greedy and buying things you don't really need. And the other person is trying to make use of the money or either save it or make a business out of it. And it's hard because now it's just money in the air. Okay. The queen of swords. Okay. All right. So, but you Aries, you're independent. You're flexible. Okay. You know, you can do a lot on your own, you know. So, all right. So now I'm so, okay. So this may be the partner that's spending all the money and just doing whatever. Okay. And then you're trying to make something for yourself. 
okay because that's what the queen of swords is you being independent and flexible and not having to rely on anybody okay so maybe all right so maybe so it's definitely you the you're the one that wants to do something smart with the money okay two of pentacles in the reverse all right but i'm seeing here that you're kind of over committed okay you're overcommitted, Aries. You're overcommitted in your vision. You know, you could tend to you tend to stress yourself out a lot. So you can tend to so you tend to be um, disorganized. You can't handle this and that at the same time. Okay. So and plus your partner is spending the money ridiculously. So it's kind of like all this pressure is going on you, right? And they're not really helping you to bring that pressure off. They're just spending more money. Like it's not a problem, okay? But so they but they need to cut this out, Aries, okay? Because if the two of you are going to stay together, they need to stop spending this money ridiculously. The Ace of Swords, okay? All right, so you just feel like, so right now, Aries, you feel like you need this mental clarity, okay? You just need mental clarity. You know, you need this breakthrough. You know, you feel like you need new ideas so you can, so you can figure out what investment you want to do or what, um, or what business you want to do or what you want to do with the money, what you want to do to make your life better, okay? For better for the two of you, okay? Like, what do you want to, like, you just need some time to think properly and figure out what you want to do with the money and to make the lives make your life easier okay the ten of pentacles in the reverse okay right but i'm seeing here your partner is uh actually a very self-centered person like money is all they care about whether it's their money they're spending or yours but it's mostly yours that's what they care about money is what they care about and they want to spend it on what they want whether or not they've earned it or not okay whether whether it's your money again i cannot stress enough whether it's your money or not, okay, they're spending it, okay? But I'm seeing it, it is a problem either way because if they spend your money, that's disrespectful. If they spend off their money, that's a stress on you because now if something needs to get paid, you have to pay for it out of your pocket because they don't have money to pay for anything. The Four of Cups in the reverse. You feel like you're ready to move on from your partner, okay? You're ready to move on from them you want to break up you know if they can't get it together you know if they could if only if they could try to figure it out and get it together that would be great but right now all they're doing is bringing on stress so you're ready to you just you're, just, you're like this close to leaving them okay because you really can't take it anymore and our last card says the knight of pentacles in the reverse right and your partner does feel bored with you Okay, they wouldn't at this point. I'm seeing here that the two of you wouldn't even mind leaving each other. You wouldn't mind leaving them, and they wouldn't mind leaving you because I'm seeing here that you want somebody more responsible and reliable. And your partner is just like, no, nah, God, why do we have to do? Let's just have fun, you know. Let's do what we gotta do, right? You know. And then your part, your partner just feels bored with you, and they're tired of your stuffy attitude or your quote unquote stuffy attitude, or you know, you're you're just boring or dull, whatever the case may be. You know, they just feel like, you know, they want someone more easygoing, okay? But oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, people, be, be with someone more easygoing, okay? And Aries, you can just be with someone who thinks and acts like you, somebody who's more responsible, okay? So if the two of you break up, then that's probably for the better, because right now the two of you are not compatible in this relationship, okay? Nothing positive is going on right now in this relationship. It's more stress than anything else. So Aries, just let it go, let it, so if your relationship is falling apart, that's okay you know what if you want to try to make it work that's fine but this relationship is not doing too good okay so Aries I hope I brought some kind of enlightenment or knowledge on the situation I hope I helped in any way but if it did not resonate with you maybe that's a good thing but no <laughs> no for real if it did not resonate with you I do apologize hopefully the next Aries reading will in the meantime though just make sure you guys like comment share 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 subscribe 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 and hit that post notification bell so you don't miss an upload when I upload all right this has been the universe Sarah namaste Thank you.